Hi everyone, it's James and you're looking at my travel adapter. I just did a video about this travel adapter. There's something that I didn't notice on the side slides right over here. See on the side, it's hard to see, but under light, it tells you this switch to the far end is for Europe. The middle switch is for the UK. This switch is for USA and Australia. Let me slide this down, this one. You see these two prongs? That is the standard USA and Canada, and I guess Australia. I've never been there, but I'm assuming that is right. And to release it, you need to press the button on the other side, hold it in, and then slide it back up, okay? For the UK, slide this down, and then you get all three of these rectangular prongs. All right, press the button on the other side and then slide it up. And the top one is for Europe. Slide this all the way like this. Sorry, I'm, I'm using one hand. You have these two round prongs. All right. Another thing is I didn't spot the spare fuse. I couldn't tell when I was doing the video, but under light, it tells you right over here, spare fuse. So I apologize for not including it in the first video. So to open it, but you would stick something under this. I'm using a pen, lift the door up a little. And it should reveal a spare fuse. And you would remove the one that's already in the adapter right here. And then put the spare fuse in there. Well, this is a great thing to have. Close it up like that. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. And I apologize for not including it in the first video, but I highly recommend getting a travel adapter, either this one or something similar to this if you're traveling abroad. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel.